One key Nichols football player will return to the field this Saturday to help the team pull out a victory. The Colonels are heading to Texas this week to take on Stephen F. Austin. The Lumberjacks are coming off a bye week after losing to Sam Houston State 51-43 two Saturdays ago. Last season, when the teams matched up, the Lumberjacks racked up seven touchdown passes and nearly 400 yards, beating the Colonels 57-21 at John L. Guidry Stadium. Preparing to face a vulnerable defensive team who is giving up 40 points per game, Nichols is pleased to have junior running back Marcus Washington back on the field this week after recovering from a concussion. Quarterback Landry Klon knows Washington brings an added dimension to the offense. He's such a weapon, you know. He uh, even if it's there's nothing there, he gets something, you know, out of nothing, and uh, so yeah, it's gonna be great having him back. Coach Stubbs is aware some of his players are lacking confidence due to the team's slow start. He knows building up their belief in themselves will be a process. It's going to be a process for me to get that mindset where uh, they're more confident. But that confidence comes by just making plays and then and then just doing it over and over. And I feel like we're not far away. I just feel like we got to jump start this uh, team. We need something really nice to happen early in the games. The Colonels realize they have a big challenge ahead against Stephen F. Austin's offensive line, which allows one sack per game. This allows the quarterback to pass the ball the full 60 minutes of the game. Lumberjack quarterback Brady Attaway completed 37 passes to seven different receivers and threw for six touchdowns against the Bearcats. His 545 yards in the game is the second best single game mark in the school history. The Colonel defense will have their hands full keeping pace with the quick moving lumberjack attack, but Coach Charlie Stubb says the problem can be solved by the Colonel offense. A lot of this can be solved is by our offense here at Nichols doing very well, which is, means us staying out on the field with no three and outs, driving the football, uh, scoring touchdowns, and just taking some of the time at a possession at the same time. So so that their offense is having to stand on the sideline a lot and uh, just watch. Attaway has several weapons at his disposal, including a player who is recognized for his record-breaking performance against Sam Houston State. Two weeks ago, Lumberjack wide receiver senior Cordell Roberson was awarded with Beyond Sports College Network FCS Receiver of the Week. He had career highs with 14 receptions and 199 yards along with three touchdowns. He also became Stephen F. Austin's all-time leader with 206 career catches, making him the fourth player in the conference history with 200 receptions. Kickoff for the Colonels and Lumberjacks is scheduled for 3 p.m. in Nacogdoches, Texas. Reporting from Thibodeau, I'm Summer Davis.